What's up OGs, Hong Nguyen here uh, for OG Fitness and welcome back to my channel. And for those of you guys who might have noticed, right, I've been making less content uh, per week in the past uh, two, three weeks or so. Like I've been posting, but I haven't been as active as I was before. And the reason for that is that I, uh, I got myself two jobs, right? So the two jobs that I got um, are in a gym. So I'm a personal trainer in two different gyms. Uh, one of them is the YMCA and, uh, and then the other one is a big box gym called BuzzFit. I don't know if it's actually popular in the States or not, but here in Quebec, they're pretty big. I think there's like just in Montreal alone, there's like nine of them, right? Nine, it's, it's a franchise. So one of those, I think it's the equivalent of uh, Planet Fitness, uh, I think, like in, your, in the US. So anyways, uh, at, um, at BuzzFit, right, the, that's where I'm actually a self-employed, uh, uh, you know, person. So I'm paid as a, as a contractor as opposed to a employee. And so I have to make my own schedules and I have to hustle for my own clients and, uh, and stuff like that, but inside the gym. So I've been pretty busy with that. So that's why I haven't made, I haven't been um, posting as many videos, right? And then of course the whole YMCA thing, but it's just until I got, uh, this is just for a short period of time until I get my bearings. So now it's been about maybe two, three weeks now. So my bearings are, you know, almost there. So now I'm back to making all this content regarding fitness and martial arts. So in this video, right, I want to talk about how to spot a good trainer. Okay. So bear with me on this one because a lot of times I don't script these videos. I just like kind of think about it, you know, for a couple of seconds and then boom, I just go right. Or at least I, I take a note of it, of what I want to write, uh, talk about. And then I make it for you guys. So it's not very, uh, how do you say it? It's not scripted at all. You know, I did that in the beginning. Like I kind of wrote some stuff down on a piece of paper and sometimes I'll still do that if it's something that's complicated and, and you know, demands that type of organization. But a lot of times I like to do things on the fly and then, you know, have discussions. And then of course, if new information comes up, then I'll make another video and we can keep discussing. So my goal for this community, if it's your first time, uh, you know, to this channel is I'm all about fitness and martial arts for the older guys, right? A str uh, smart, smarter, uh, more sustainable and functional approach to fitness and martial arts. Okay. And since I'm an older guy, by the way, guys, I'm 39 and I'm going, I'm turning 40 at, uh, in February, at the beginning of February. So I'll probably make another video about that. So that's why the OG stands for older guy. But, you know, hey, it could also be, I guess, uh, if you're old enough, you could also be considered a original gangster, so to speak. So now where was I going here? Oh, how to spot a, a good trainer. Okay. Because I've been, I've been, I started training people. Now I've always been into fitness and martial arts, right? But training people in the gym, I've only done it maybe once or twice, uh, for, let's see, actually only once for one of my friends, but. I've trained myself for years, right? But it's slightly different when training yourself and training someone else. So I've been, I've been doing a lot of that in the past three weeks. So I've gotten uh, a little bit more hands-on experience on how to do it. So in my opinion, the number one trait, okay, there's, there's three of them, right? But the number one trait for me is uh, caring, right? So if a trainer is, uh, and, and, and for a person like, a good trainer will care about you, you know, he'll care about you because he's passionate about, about what he does, you know, and he's, he should be passionate about helping people and also about getting results and, and, you know, loving training as a whole, but for what it brings, uh, in terms of value to that person, right? So he has to be passionate and when he's passionate, he'll tend to care about uh, his clients. So I think that's the number one trait right there. So I guess caring and being passionate goes hand in hand. After that, I would say that if he's passionate, he'll be knowledgeable also. And another trait that I find really important is he has to be, he has to be able to keep you safe, right? So it's not about him 
making you do crazy stuff. Unless, of course, you're able to do crazy stuff and that's what your goal is, to do more crazy stuff. So when I say crazy stuff, I'm talking about like, uh, you know, stuff that guys who, who do like bar stars. Those guys, those guys are, are doing a lot of crazy stuff, you know, uh, very cool stuff, but crazy nonetheless. So like if the guys are already advanced and they want to do t that type of stuff, then OK, then and if you're a trainer who can like help them with that, then sure. Right. But. Don't just do crazy, not, not just doing crazy just to be crazy or, or, or being doing crazy stuff just to be more, uh, you know, fancy and, you know, just because it looks good and it's more, it's more kind of fun maybe, you know, because then it might not be safe for that, for that individual. So let me try to reiterate here what I'm talking about so that it's actually, it actually kind of makes more uh, sense and it's more, uh, uh, well sequenced so to speak okay so first things first is caring then passion usually passion okay so yeah passion up here so maybe passion is the first thing after that the trainer has to care about you after that because of passion normally the trainer is going to end up being competent and after that like that that last thing there would be um, keeping you safe okay so those are the main I guess four things, right? It starts with passion, possibly, right? I could be wrong, but you know, let me know in the comments, right? Let's say passion for what he does. And then after that, passion will um, produce caring, right? For his clients. And then will produce competency because you want him to be competent. And that competency will also translate into um, being able to progress the client safely. So that's what I think a trainer, how that's how that's the qualities that I think a good personal trainer should have. Uh, now, do I think I have all of these? I hope so. I, I like to think so. And I'm working on it. I definitely care about results. I care about people. I, I want to keep them safe, right? And then progress them so that they to get to for the so that they can get to wherever they want to get to and of course well since I'm passionate about all of this you know fitness and martial arts then it makes it so that I'll I'm more I'll become well I'm competent right now but there's levels of competency and then there's le level of, levels of expertise so over time this is something that's this is me this is my business destiny this is what I'm perfectly aligned in what I'm doing now at this point in my life. So I'm quite happy about that. So all that to say is that since I'm where I'm supposed to be and for me, like reading a book like yay thick, you know, like a thousand pages on, you know, how the shoulder should be moving and stuff like that. It's nothing to me. It's fun. I enjoy doing it. Right. So everything I do will be to get better and better at martial arts and fitness. Right. And I care a lot about longevity too because, you know, I'm older now and I, I got a lot of injuries. So anyways, that's for another video. But so that's it for this one, guys. I hope that guys, I hope that <laughs> out of practice. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. So what do you think? Uh, what do you think makes a good personal trainer? Right. What are the top three qualities? So mine's are once again, I guess I would start off with passion, which translates into caring which translates into proficiency and then which would translate also into um, uh, what was that other thing? Keeping them, keeping the clients safe. Is that what I said? Sorry. Once again, I, I'm doing this on the fly, right? So passion, uh, caring, proficiency and, you know, safety. Okay. So those are not three, but four, but Hey, what's your top three or top one or top two, whatever, or top four that you guys would actually, how do you say it? Consider if, if a trainer has that, you would consider them good, right? So leave your comments down below. Uh, let me know what you think. You know, um, everyone benefits from this, of course. And of course, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And sharing is caring. Sharing helps to grow the channel. So thank you very much, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.